God chose to make us, to love us, to save us, to deliver us. And someone may take advantage of you or hurt you or put you down, but Jesus is still on the throne. So what do we do? We stay humble. We take correction. We forgive. We love. We stay humble. The Bible says in Matthew 23, 12, and whoever exalts himself will be humbled, and he who humbles himself will be exalted. Don't miss the end result of Nabal's life that he got drunk and God killed him 10 days later. Yes. Psalm 138, 6 says, Though the Lord is on high, yet he regards the lowly, but the proud, he knows those from afar. Yeah. If you're prideful, man, God knows you because he sees you coming. Yeah. He knows those people from afar. See, the prideful are a wicked abomination in the eyes of God, and we would do very well to squash our pride. Here, here's how you can test your pride. Do you, do you always blame others for the problems in your life? Do you never own your own stuff? Do you, do you elevate yourself? Do you minimize your sin? Do you look at the sin in your life like, well, I'm not like that guy. I'm, I'm doing pretty well. Yeah. That's pride. Yeah. Is it always about you? Is every story about you? Are you a one-upper? Do you, do you live your life and desire others to envy you? Do, you? do you distance yourself from people that are perceived lower status at work, in the community, or in church? It's like, well, I don't want to hang out with that person. You know, a, a man I once knew, I asked him, I, I said, man, hey, what, and, and this guy had claimed to be a Christian for, I don't know, 15, 20 years. And, and I asked him, I said, man, what, what, is, what are you working on right now? Like, what? What are you working on in your relationship with God? And he was like, man, I got all my stuff squared away. I was like, what? Hey, well, like, no, but what are you working on? He's like, I've, I've dealt with all my stuff with God. Like, we've handled it and we're good. So there's not one little area, just like a, just like a tiny little jot or tittle that maybe you're, that God's adjusting you on? Yeah. Full blown, straight face. No. I've dealt with everything. I'm good. Well, then I'm like, what, what, what's wrong with me? You know, you know, like, gosh, I'm just like, I got a list. And I'm like, tons of stuff I'm still working on. So I did what any, you know, pastor would do. I called Pastor Steve. You know, I mean, Pastor Steve went to high school with Moses. I mean, he knows it, right? And so I called, I called Pastor Steve. And I said... I said, Pastor, I said, help me out here, man. I said, do you still have stuff that you're working on? He's like, brother, how much time you got? <laughs> and, 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 and I mean, but that's, that's, the heart of, that's the heart of a man that's clamoring after the Lord. Yeah. I mean, Pastor Steve's been serving God longer than I've been alive, yeah. which doesn't give me a lot of hope for where I'm going. <laughs> But, but, but honestly, like, if, if, you're, if you're adequately serving God wholeheartedly, you'll only arrive at death. Yeah, right, you know, don't ever come to a point of pride that says, like, ah, I've dealt with everything. That in itself is just pride. Third person, David. Now, David didn't start out well in this story, but he ended better than he started. <laughs> See, his initial response was to go on the attack towards Nabal when he didn't give up the goods to David and his men, so he wanted to go to war with him. But then Abigail, the woman, came around and got in his face about it, and he repented, and he admitted that he was wrong. Don't, don't ever say the Bible doesn't have high view of women, because the Bible has an, a, a, a huge, huge value for, for women. This is the future king, someone else's wife. In this culture, women do not confront men, and David responds to the rebuke of somebody else's wife. And he, and he goes so far as to even say to her and say, blessed is your advice and blessed are you. Because you've kept me this day from coming to bloodshed and from avenging myself with my own hand. David listened to Abigail. He took her advice and didn't go to war. He listened about his future. Yes. See, the Bible says in Proverbs 28, 13, he who covers his sins will not prosper, but whoever confesses and forsakes them will have mercy. See, David shouldn't have had a heart to go with Nabal. It wasn't really that kind of issue. Perhaps he was justified and able to fight about it, but it, but it wasn't right to go to war over, I didn't get fed because we watched over your sheep. Here, here's the principle, though. When God or someone else confronts you, how will you respond? Will you double down on your pride and die like Nabal, a fool, or repent and live?